So, hello and welcome back to Gemini Roo. Um, I just had a look in the walkthrough and it's very possible that um, we might actually get to the end of the game in this session. So, yeah. Well, oh, uh, talkie talkie going on. We all here. Yep. Okay, I'll start heading into the nebula now. Hold on, this might get a little rough. Are you sure we're gonna make it? We should hold together. Warning. Deflection shields failing. This doesn't sound good. Uh... We'll hold together. Asriel, look at that radar and update my position. Huh. Well, that ruined my intro. <laughs> um... Well, anyway, I should alert you that um, I uh, uh, may be coming down with some kind of virus, so if I make any, uh, you know, disconcerting noises beyond drinking water, that would be it. <laughs> that would be the We're reason. in the center of that crosshair, and center seven should be a blinking light out there. Can you see it? I've got a blinking light. Tell me which way to go and keep updating my position. Okay, well... Supposed to go up there, and then um, go straight. Going. The dot disappeared. The nebula must be interfering with the radar. Just keep directing me as if the target is where it. Well, was. this is kind of cool, but weird. This is not how I imagine uh, flying a spacecraft, but it's probably a lot like flying navigator in um, an F-14 or. Uh, B-52 bomber. Veer left. Okay. Well, go left again. Veer left. Roger that. And... Go straight. Roger that. Veer left. Roger that. Go straight. Got it. Well... Veer left. This Roger seems that. pretty easy, doesn't it? Go straight. Going. Mm, yeah, also, by the way, I'm eating an apple. Near left. Going. I'm enjoying it. Go straight. Got it. Near left. Going. Go straight. Got it. Something's wrong with the radar. What are you talking about? It's all staticky. Well then, huh. fix it. Okay, radar going staticky in, in the nebula. That's never happened before, right? <laughs> and what did we learn from the be beginning of the game? Footing electronics works. There, see? Hey! Get back Pull here. Back. Got it. Pull back. Going. Pull back. Right. Pull back. Got it. And that should be it. Pull back. Got it. Uh, okay, maybe down once more. Pull back. Going. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Hold up. I got a visual. I'm gonna try to get under it before they can spot us. Those aren't all the, these kind of centers, are they? Whoa.
Did we make it? Yeah, but I thought for sure we were spotted. Their sensors were right on us. Maybe the radiation interfered with the signal. Okay, Az. Your go. Good luck. Find your brother. I'll keep an eye on the ship. You ready, Sayuri? Lead the way. Hmm? Okay. We are... Breaking into the prison. Or something. Whatever. Okay, go to hatch. Uh, my sixth sense of uh, failing at adventure game tells me it's a good idea to save the game here, so I will do that and we leave. And Apple's great stuff. Oh. Kane, are you sure this tunnel is pressurized? Yeah, it says so on the schematic. It leads straight into the maintenance shaft. Oh, this is a familiar place. Do you know where we are? I remember. We should go straight ahead to reach the computers. I think I can access the database in there. Just find what you need and locate the cell my brother is in. Okay, we are in. Let's see here. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Or not. Um, okay, we open the door maybe? It's a key card. Uh, okay. The electronic. Um, the lockpick won't work here. Maybe if we hand Sayuri on the keypad. Can you work that door? That's not the way we're trying to go. Oh, what way are we trying? Oh, face palm. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah. This is. Oh, whoa. Stop. Who? And something tells me we are not crossing that little bridge. Poke the corpse down. His gas mask is punctured, so it's oh. useless. Gas mask. Oh, he, oh yeah. Um. Yeah, the game is going to throw one little gimmick at us at the end game, but we we'll cross the bridge when we get there. He's wearing a gas mask. Um, what are you doing, by the way, little Azriel? Okay. The piping leading to the light is electrocuting the water. Yeah, the water is being electrocuted. But we have tools. There. <laughs> it's already broken beyond repair. You know, for being an adventure game, this game is very inelegant. And all things considered, I consider that a positive attribute. At least in this case. You know, because you could you, you get to shoot out lights. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, let's see. Um. Okay, east again, and then we should... I think that's where the terminals are, up there. All right. Hmm? Now we should find a key card. He had a key card and on him. did. But you have 
to kind of wonder what actually happened here. I mean, this... This corpse hasn't been here since Sayuri escaped, you know? I don't, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, just take the opportunity to, um, you know, play it nice and quiet. You know, brief respite for the craziness at the end. Oh, hello! We've been here before. The surgery chambers. This is where they would finish the rehabilitation. It ended with a memory wipe and then a face transplant. Uh, can we go now? I am seriously creeped out by this game. I know I said it before, but I really am. Um. Hey, you're like techie and stuff. Can you work that terminal? I'll try. What's your brother's name? I'll try to find his cell. Daniel. Daniel Odin. Okay, I'm scanning the station's manifest for life forms. That's funny. What? None of the station's crew are showing up in the list. What about the prisoners? Yes, they're here. His name is Daniel Odin? Yes. I don't understand. That can't be right. There's nobody here by that name. Well, they couldn't have taken him anywhere else. Maybe they didn't update the database. Maybe he's not listed here. Maybe on another drive. I can look in the next room. Let's go then. Wait, I need to look up a different patient first. Who? When I was here before, there was a patient called Delta Six. He was the one who got me out of here. Huh, Charles. File selected. He didn't Delta escape six. with you? Subject was contracted he was shot. By the I had to leave him behind. Be what did they do to him then? I'd rather not think about it. Subject file, Delta 6. Training began 22-28, November 11th, on schedule. Subject was trained in basic training and completed it December 7th, 22-28. Subject was given specialization training in armed weaponry. Subject attempted to escape facility by destroying maintenance access point 7C on December 18th, 22-28. Memory was re-erased and weapons training continued. A second escape with two fellow inmates was attempted eight days later on December 26, 2228. Escape attempt was neutralized. Prisoner Epsilon 5 was reported missing and traced to Baracus. Prisoner Beta 7 was accidentally terminated. Okay. We go to the next room then. Uh, by the way, uh, these names um, Azriel Odin, Baldur, um, No, no, wait, no, no, n n uh, never mind that, I, I, just, no, it's nothing. Just making mythologi mythological con connections that fuck me sideways. Shit went down in here. Uh, I am starting to feel like the team that went down on LV-426 in Aliens. Just saying. And this is not even a horror game. Good grief, is it unpleasant? But yeah, we basically do the same thing here. Um, and Sayuri on the computer. Can you work that terminal? And watch as things happen. Does it say anything? Anything about my brother? Nothing. Still nothing here. They've gotta have something. Something else. Wait a second. They have a series of locked drives up ahead. They're in the director's office. We'll have to go there in person to access them. You wanna check it out? Let's go. Wait a second. There's another file here on Delta-6. I wanna check it out. Time to retrain him. Again. Would you rather let him take control of his own life, and let him become a monster? 
That's why we recondition them. They don't need a choice, because it will be the wrong one. So we make it for them. Shouldn't we get ready for the face transplant? Yes, Fred, of course. Did you finish programming his new past? The construct finished hours ago. And you put the fail-safes in, right? Do I look like I know how to do my job? Just checking. We should start the surgery. You should. I told the client we would have him shipped to New Jupiter by tomorrow. He's supposed to arrive there with the new memory in place. I'm gonna miss you, Delta-6. He doesn't even know you. I know him, and this is the end of it. His consciousness is existence. He has a new identity now. It says the director's office is ahead. Let's go. That was from the, the introduction. Well, we can be pretty sure that this is not Delta Six's blood anyway. But I am happy I was not here to see what happened. Let's just leave it at that. Oh boy. Oh boy. See any hot spots? I see a door. And nothing else. Okay. Thank you, game. Thank you. Ev oh. Oh, okay. Oh shit.
Some of them just fail to function as their programmed roles. And you know why? I think it's because there's one section of the human psyche that we just have never deconstructed in our rehabilitation process. We call it the conscience. When you finally pull the trigger, maybe we haven't desensitized you enough to killing. Maybe we need to make you kill innocent men a hundred times over, just like you did in your past. You remember it, Azriel. You remember what you did in the Gemini War. But, sadly, the conscience isn't affected by memories. It's only affected by experience. Well, thanks to you, I've decided to integrate a new phase into our rehabilitation process. This is called Deconstructing the Conscience, and it will be starting on all patients effective immediately. And you, Delta-6, will be the first test subject of this new phase. We'll have loads of fun, I'm sure. And you, Epsilon-5, what shall we do with you? Such an unexpected guest deserves some kind of recognition. Goodbye, Delta-6. Epsilon-5, it was a pleasure to see you both again. Oh, lovely. It won't open. It's not working. Well, that was a whole bunch of philosophical exposition for you right there. Alas, the game is not over still. Oh, where am I? <sighs> you know, I think it might be good to end the episode there, because that was a whole lot to process right there. So, um, let's just take a break and digest all of that. And apparently we've been controlling a guy who, uh, yeah, has memory implants most of the game. Great. With that said, that wraps up part eight and yeah, come back for the uh, Second jailbreak of Miss Epsilon 5. See you soon.